Splitter kicks to Leonard. Green inside the three-point line. And play stops as it looks like they call him over the back here. A little over-eager right there. Left his feet too early. And if you're already boxed out, you've got to try to work to get around. Otherwise, it's a surefire foul. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Here's Duncan. And finally, they hit one. Duncan's got his first two points. The defense pretty much helpless there, stopping that layup. I think too much of a mismatch in terms of height. Dishes it to Lowe. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Beautiful ball movement again. Last five trips, they've all ended with a great pass, leading to a basket, Steve. I mean, they are really sharing the basketball. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, guys, the Cavs' David Black, the first ever NBA head coach directly hired from the international ranks. So we grew up here in Boston, a diehard Celtics fan. He represents all the aspiring NBA coaches from abroad, saying, quote, I feel a great sense of responsibility. I feel like I've got to do a good job. Kevin, he certainly got the personnel to do it. A roster loaded with talent, Doris. Indeed. Thank you. Well, you talk about the elite point guards in the NBA. A lot of times, Tony Parker's name gets overlooked. Something about playing in San Antonio seems to keep you off the radar. But make no mistake, Parker is a true star and, most importantly, a proven winner. Miller's checked in oh for God, Cleveland. He's got that. And San Antonio also making a switch. Otto Ginobili's checked in for Daniel Green. James dishes to Miller. Now the feed to Love. Back to Miller. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. And Parker Clark, a six-time All-Star, three-time NBA champion, heavily decorated player. Yeah, he really is. And he's shooting to become the Spurs' first 20-year guy. Now, how crazy would that be? I mean, he came to the Spurs in 19, but he's got an outside chance at it. He says his body feels great. Yep. And the way Pop manages minutes for his guys. He thinks he can play at a high level for a long time. That'll be fun to watch. Yeah, really. big happens that way. Good story. You're right. Yeah. You know, passing the ball well on the perimeter has really opened things up offensively for this club. Steve, it makes the game easy. I mean, 10 straight points off assist. That's impressive, but it's easy when you move the ball. The try by James inside. Kicks it out to Love. The three. And Splitter pulls it down. Splitter's got five rebounds tonight. Duncan inside. Covered by Irving. Got him with the pump fake. Savvy move right there. Duncan's got four points now in the quarter. Not enough defense there to throw him off his shot. Sometimes it, it takes more than one defender on him down low. Inside runner. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. Well, I tell you what, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. They're not getting the job done. Yeah, that's 10 of the last 12 points they've allowed on good looks right at the rim. San Antonio calls timeout. The Cavs tried to make a push for the playoffs last season in a way going against the grain, but instead a disappointing season when it was all over. The coach and front office questioning the team effort level. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. DL comes in for splitter. And it's Mills in for Tony Parker. Got to love the inside-out game there, guys. Now Irving. He's got seven. And out of bounds as San Antonio gains possession. Well, the Cavs did make some big changes from last season, and they shouldn't have a problem staying motivated putting in the effort this year. Well, you know, Kevin, last year they were a very young group and didn't have the vet presence they might have needed. With LeBron coming in, they've got... Brilliance in every category, leadership and play. He's got the cloud of his championship rings. The whole mindset of the team is about to go to a very different and high level. Here's Verizhao out to Miller. Marion outside. The three-pointer no good. Kind of rare to see him come up empty on a wide-open look. Ginobili can't hit. Tough D on the inside. Put up a roadblock, a construction barrel right there. That's what he brings defensively. Shots good by Miller. I tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball moving out there. Yeah, well, 10 of their last 12 points have come off of assists. The drive by Duncan. And there's the pass to Mills. Or the three. Cannot hit. Great D that time from Irving. This 
has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. Marion passes to Berger. Cleveland moving the ball around. Irving kicks to Love. Nice D from Duncan. Spurs trail by four. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Waiters, he's checked in for Cleveland. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Ellen Ellis checked in. Miller outside. Irving dishes to Waiters. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And that's 11 points for Dion Waiters. A large Dion. part of what they've been able to do Waiters. here is centered around his offense. Here's Mills. And he finishes nicely on the layup. They have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. Irving attacking. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, Clark, a bit of a down here shooting-wise for Kyrie Irving last season. Yeah, it sure was. And you heard some sources within the Cavs organization questioning his leadership, too. I mean, the chemistry in Cleveland, uh, not really uh, where it needed to be. Kind of a mess all season, quite honestly. And Irving is still young and has a lot on his shoulders and maybe started to show some of the frustration with the expectations and demands that have been placed on him. But now, you know, as he continues to, to grow as a leader, having LeBron James there and some other veterans who've come in should really help smooth that out for the young um, standout. Passes it to Diaz. In low to Duncan. It's tipped. Stolen by Verajan. Here's Irving. No good. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Well, this had to be the choice. It was an absolutely sensational feat, putting him way up there above the rim so that only his teammate could catch it. And not only does he do it, but he powers it down from there. The, the timing of these plays are just phenomenal. Irving and Waiters for guards. Anderson Verishon is out there with Marion. And it's James in at the three. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Great look. Disappointing result. You know, most times he knocks that one down. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. They'd love to get more of those the easiest two points possible. And on a fierce finish. Yeah, and that's exactly how they're going to cut into the lead, Kevin. Yeah, that's why they've got to tighten up the lead. And I'd be surprised if the defense allows any more free runs to the hoop like that. He's tried to get it going, but the shots have not dropped for him today. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they won on the end of those breaks. He always finishes strong. Back to Irving. Here's Waiters. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got assist number seven for him tonight. So nice to have a guy like that who can take charge at any time. Yeah, so many of his passes, Steve, have led directly to baskets. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Cleveland. Thompson, he's checked in for Verja. And Kevin Love is subbed in for Sean Marion. San Antonio also making some changes. Leonard, he's checked in for Bellinelli. And it's Ginobili in for Green. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Well, over the break, I listened in on David Blatt's huddle. His advice clear cut. I want to see you playing to win, not playing not to lose. I don't care what the lead is. We do not back off. What a, what a display of offense we've seen today, and it's only getting better. Well, both defenses have been on their heels all day, and it's begun to take its toll. LeBron passes to Waiters. Oh, yes. oh, 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 oh. Talk about putting something extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, Clark, you know, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Still, I mean, it's startling that he'd even try that right now. Feeds to Diaw. Back to Parker. Ginobili against Waiters. Ginobili attacking. 
shot is off. Cavaliers go the other way with it. LeBron kicks to Love. James dishes to Love. Irving from long range. Rebound by Tony Parker. He's playing selfishly now, guys. He's just trying to get as many shots up as he can. Doesn't look at all concerned about his teammates. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. James kicks to Love. Runner in the lane. Rebound San Antonio. Diaw's got six rebounds now in the game. Ginobili against Irving. To take the lead. Parker's shot is off. The Cavaliers have gone 2 of 7 from the field. And it's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. A nice shot by Irving. Unbelievable basket. What a huge height disadvantage. I thought for sure it would be blocked. Not this fellow, Steve. Not at this stage of the game. He was going to get to the rim no matter who was standing in the way. San Antonio calls timeout. And at this point of the game, getting a break here, important for the teams to regroup and for the players. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gatorade. Get ready to play strong to finish off the game. Here's Parker. Parker double teamed. Ginobili outside. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Here's James and a foul in the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Cavaliers. Guys, the play close to the hoop has been great all game. And that's helped with their passing game, too, because they're getting a lot of assists by sharing the ball and moving it. He's off on the second. Here's Ginobili. The Cavaliers pull it in. And this is why you need size inside, the ability to contest shots. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. That's not as easy as it made it look, guys. You've got to have some skills to pull that baby off. Well, he's got plenty of those skills <laughs> necessary for him. Oh, you know it. The guy can climb the ladder, can't he? Out to Duncan. Parker outside. Goes back up. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. Will shoot two. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. Looking at the game Parker's been having. He has eight points and six assists. Oh by getting to the free throw line and converting once he's there, along with his passing, those are the areas where he's really been strong. Well, yeah, guys, it's basically just um, old-school basketball he's been playing. I love it. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. And even three-on-three -three break. And with that shot, the Cleveland lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Ginobili. Well, this quarter has gone awfully well for him. It seems like every chance he's gotten, he's pretty much converted. Here's Waiters. And Splitter pulls it down. Splitter's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And that one's good. Parker. It hasn't happened as quickly as he would have liked, but he's finally putting some points on the board in this game. Cleveland's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. James kicks to long. It's stolen by Duncan. Here's Parker. They get a hand on it. In this quarter, he's really been off the mark. He just gets a little bit unsettled. Ellis with it. Guarded now by Duncan. They get the rebound. Thompson. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Giving them an opportunity at second chance points with some hard work on the glass there. The try by Duncan. It falls! And he has brought them to within two points. And that is the shot of the game. Well, he's got the guts and courage to take it. 
and the skill.